Hey guys, Tom here again from SynthHacker.com and welcome back to another tutorial for Serum. i uh, got quite a quick video for you today, um, it shouldn't take too long. Um, it was actually a requested sound from a Seven Lions track uh, from about two years ago uh, called Don't Leave, which actually features Ellie Goulding. Um, and it's quite a simple like trance progressive house book, also similar to a lot of you know like Dead Masters old stuff and stuff like that. Um, I'll quickly show you the sound, and then we'll just get ahead, uh, go ahead and uh, start creating it from scratch. Really, really nice sound. Um, like I said, it is quite a simple sound, nothing too complicated, but sometimes, you know, the simpler sounds uh, are really all that's needed. Um, and, you know, just because it sounds more complicated doesn't necessarily mean, obviously, that it's right for a track, um, which, you know, sometimes is a, is a little bit irritating, especially um, for myself as a sound designer when you hear these really, really big tracks that everyone loves with, like, super simple sounds in them. But, you know, that's kind of just the way it is. And sometimes, you know, all the track needs is, is just a quite a basic sound like this. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's begin uh, making this sound from scratch. As always, guys, these videos are sponsored uh, by my website over at synthhacker.com. If you haven't gone, uh, done so already, definitely go ahead um, and check it out um, and check out my presets for Serum and also other synths as well. Uh, thanks in advance if you do decide to check that out. It really helps support me and the channel. Um, and as always, I really do appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's begin making this sound. So first of all, we're just going to have um, oscillator A here at the default octave. And then uh, oscillator B at an octave above this. Um, oscillator B, we're actually going to give unison. We're going to give seven voices and bring the detune down just a little bit. Um, this is a really, really cool effect on these plucks simply because... Um, oscillator A, you have um, this kind of like uh, octave which is lower down than oscillator B and one voice of unison. And this kind of prov provides like this really kind of solid foundation, like mono right down the middle of the stereo image. Um, and then what actually happens by default in Serum, when you give another, um, when you give an oscillator voice of unison, it actually automatically spreads those voices of unison across the stereo image. So you have this like really solid part of the sound in the middle, um, and then what you can do is add a la another layer, which in this case is oscillator B, um, which is kind of more spread across the stereo field, which kind of um, gives it just, I don't know, gives it a little bit more fullness while still retaining, you know, its power kind of in the middle of the mix, which is really cool. Um, next, we're just going to set up this envelope one here. We're going to bring the sustain down a little bit um, and give it a bit of a sharper decay. And then just move the attack up slightly just so it's not got quite as harsh um, an attack. And then also give it some uh, release as well, about 150 uh, milliseconds or something like that anyway. Um, and then for the filter, we're going to use the uh, MG Low Pass 24 dB filter. We're going to bring the cutoff all the way down. Uh, make sure that both oscillators are being rooted through this. We're also going to root the noise oscillator through, which I forgot to set up. Uh, we're going to use the... Um, I think it's I uh, used the J106 high pass uh, noise. I quite like this noise because of course it is high pass, so it doesn't have a lot of the, kind of like the muddy low end in it. Um, and yeah, this has just been routed through the filter, and then we're going to set up our envelope one here on the cutoff of this and bring this down just a little bit. Uh, and then we can actually just move um, straight ahead into the effects section. Oh, one second. And one one thing that I recommend doing um, with these kind of pluck sounds, especially if you're taking advantage of the um, MG or like Moog uh, uh, ladder filters, um, is that you can actually push the, the drive a little bit. And what this is actually designed to do is give some kind of like analog t um, style like saturation to the sound, which is really cool. Just adds a little bit of character to what would otherwise be, you know, quite a simple um, sound. Um, moving into the effects section though, we're going to first of all use the hyper dimension effect. We're going to bring the max uh, mix down a little bit. And then finally just add a little bit of reverb. Um, I actually increased the size a bit, brought the mix down a little bit. I don't want it to be um, too wet. And then boost the high cut a little bit and boost the low cut a little bit. And then this is the finished sound. So 
Sorry for the little bit of a clip in there. I forgot to bring down the master after I boosted the drive. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the sound. Like I said, quite simple, but hopefully, you know, if you're kind of new to sound design or you just want to kind of know how to create these simple sounds, it was useful to you. If it was, uh, please subscribe to stay up to date with new uh, videos I'm bringing out all the time for Sarah and other synths as well. Um, if you have any questions about this sound or any uh, requests or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I do try to get back to as many people as I can. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you haven't done so already, definitely go ahead and check out my website over at synthhacker.com. Um, I really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.